My name is Jules and I had my first thermal imaging breast scan about four, five, six years ago. I can't even remember now. I seem to have been doing it for some years. Um, I had my first one, I actually heard about it through a magazine called What Doctors Don't Tell You, my favourite magazine, and um, there was an article on Dr Eccles and the Chiron Clinic uh, and uh, thermal imaging for, for breast scans. Uh, and it seemed like the answer to all my prayers, really, because I had had um, benign breast lumps when I was in my late 20s, early 30s, and I was told at some stage that I was therefore at risk of breast cancer at some stage, not because it was in my family, because it wasn't, but because I'd had these benign lumps, I had been put on the pill when I was very young, in the days when the oestrogen doses were really, was really quite high, uh, and I was on the pill for about 20 years, um, and also I had been a very heavy smoker once upon a time. So those sort of things combined uh, led people, led doctors, to tell me that I was potentially at risk. So it seemed like a good idea to monitor the whole situation. But, you know, having had the old benign breast lumps, I'd had the mammograms and thought, don't want to go back there, thank you very much. No woman likes having her breasts squeezed in quite such a painful way as they do with a mammogram. Um, and also, you know, just gave me that sort of deeply intuitive feeling that there was something very wrong about mammograms, that actually it was doing more harm than good, that anything, if there was anything unwelcome in one of my breasts, that squeezing it as hard as that might actually just kind of pop it out of its confines and let it spread to God knows where. So I was just very unhappy about the whole mammogram thing. So when I read about the um, thermal imaging breast scans, I was very happy. I picked up the phone straight away, I think, to Dr. Eccles and the Chiron Clinic, and, and off I went. And my first scan actually showed that there were a couple of hot spots, mm -hmm. and Dr. Eccles suggested some dietary changes, omega-3s and other supplementation, and I think I had some oxygen therapy as well. And um, since then we've kind of monitored the situation and everything's fine. And I'm very happy because it gives, it gives me great confidence that the thermal imaging picks things up well in advance of a mammogram, and um, it's completely non-invasive, it's totally easy and quick to do, and you know, it's a no-brainer for me.